We'd like to create a building with different floors containing several rooms and devices. The project contains a mimic template and symbols from the library. Devices are a fan animated with two variables and a light also animated with two variables and an office room and we're going to see how easy it is to generate our project using the application architect. Open the Application Architect from the Configure menu. The left pane is used to display and select existing templates and parameters. The right pane is used to design the templates, the parameters, and the instances to be generated. The first step is to create the templates. Templates can be organized with different categories. It's not mandatory, but it helps to structure the template. Right-click the library local to the project and add a category, Devices. We create another category, Locations, and we now create our template. Right-click on Devices and add a new template. Enter a name, for example, we'll enter Light. As you can see, a template defines the following elements. Configuration elements such as variables, thresholds, trends, cyclic and event actions, expressions, and so on. Graphic elements such as symbols and mimics. And included templates are used to structure templates in a modular manner, and parameters are used to define dynamic properties. Our light is defined with two variables and a symbol. Right-click on the configuration elements and add a bit variable. Enter a name. And as you can see, it's possible to define here the main properties for the variable. For example, this variable must be in command. And if you right-click on the panel, you can click Advanced and access to the advanced properties for the variable. We will now create a variable for the status of the light as shown. Now we will create a symbol attached to the template. Right-click on Graphic Elements and add a symbol. Then select the symbol from the library. And that's it. The light template is now ready. In a similar manner, we create a template for the fan. It's important to note that the variable names entered here must match the names used in the animation of the symbols. In a real project, it could be interesting to design more complex templates, including other templates. For example, we define a template for the office room. In this building, we assume that the office contains one light and one fan. A template can include another template, which is very handy. No need to recreate the devices. We just have to include the existing template as shown, one for the light, and one for the fan. The office template also uses a symbol selected from the library. We then define a template for a floor containing a mimic based on a template mimic. It will be used to generate each floor. Right click on the graphic elements and add a mimic. Floor mimic and then select a mimic template to be associated with. Our templates are now ready to use. We just need to configure what's going to be generated.
From the Instances tab, it's possible to define a topology of our building and add the different elements to be generated in the project. We add a building, which is not an instance of a template but an element to the structure of the data. And we add an instance of the template floor. And two instances of the template office as shown. You can instantiate several instances of the same template using the multi-instance tool which is very handy. Select the template and enter the number of instances that you need. And that's it. The two offices have been created. And on the right we can see the elements which are going to be generated in the project. As you can see each office includes all the elements from the included templates, fan and lights. We can now generate the new configuration. From the menu tasks, open the generation dialog box. From here you can set different options for the generation process. You can check the consistency of the configuration to be generated before the generation. Generate graphical elements, and in some cases you may not need to generate the graphics. You will untick this option. Two types of synchronization are possible. The fast synchronization updates only the properties that have changed, and the full synchronization generates all the configuration and overwrites the existing one. We select full synchronization and validate. And that's it! Our configuration is now generated. Let's take a look to the Application Explorer and see what has been generated. In the Variable section, a branch building has been created containing a floor and two offices. Each office has a fan and a light as devices with the variables. The real-time database structure has been created, automatically reducing the risk of error. And also, if we open the Mimic selector, we can see that a Mimic for the floor has been generated. And all the symbols as well. You just have to move the objects in the Mimic and it's done. Plus, if you synchronize your project, you won't be able to remove your objects. PC View will keep them at their exact same location. And thank you for joining PC View Solutions Tutorials.